Good day, mates. Today, we're gonna make a run for the border, uh, the border of Australia. Well, you know, it's 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 an island, so it really doesn't have a border, but we are going, sort of going to Australia. We're actually going to Taco Bell, and the reason we're going to Taco Bell is because we are going to try the Mighty G Taco. Now, the Mighty G Taco was something that was created in Australia, and it was created for Vegemite's 100th anniversary. So it was, it was a collaboration between Taco Bell and Vegemite. And so for International Taco Day, which was October 4th, the Taco Bells in Australia added Vegemite to the Cheesy G Taco. Now, I had to figure out what a Cheesy G Taco is because I'm here in the United States, right? I can't get this. Uh, I, I also can't get this even if I was in Australia because it only went through October 4th. So. With a little bit of sleuthing, I managed to figure out that the Cheesy G is the same as the Cheesy Gordita Crunch in the US. So, I got a Cheesy Gordita Crunch and we have Vegemite. So we're gonna make our own. Can't be that difficult. I looked at the picture and the picture looks like they just put Vegemite in a Cheesy Gordito Crunch. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what we got here. Here's our cheesy gordita crunch. Now, it doesn't look too crunchy, but it's pretty close to the picture. Usually, when you go into a fast food place and you, you order something, it never looks like the picture. This one's actually pretty close. So, the gordita crunch is warm flatbread layered with three cheese blend and wrapped around a crunchy taco filled with seasoned beef, spicy ranch sauce, crispy lettuce, and shredded cheddar cheese. That's what I got. But uh, I decided I was going to go for the steak option for I think it's like a, an extra dollar fifty you can get the steak option, which I did. Now I was trying to figure out because I have my I have my little sharp knife here and I have my uh, Vegemite and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get that in, but it just kind of falls you know falls apart here. So here's the here's the taco. You can see there there's steak in there. So we're just gonna just gonna dab some Vegemite on there. It's gotta taste just like it. I mean, I can't see where it wouldn't. Oh, this see, the thing is that this is thicker than Marmite, but you know, I, th I think it's gonna work to, to figure out how to get that on there. It doesn't wanna go. There we go. That siren you hear is because I'm doing something that's probably illegal. Well, it's against the laws of nature. Get some more on there. A little of this stuff goes a long way, so I, I think that's gonna be enough. Mmm, just like mother used to make. All right, here we go. So, it's just so salty. You know, but I gotta admit, every time I eat this, every time I try Vegemite or Marmite, you know, it gets a little bit better. Now, here's the thing that's funny. So I, I purchased this online and then went to pick it up. Now when I purchased it online, it said, you know, do you want anything else? And I said, yeah, hot sauce just for fun. So I asked for two Diablos and this is what they put in the bag. I'm seeing hot, I'm seeing mild. I am not seeing any Diablo. So. We might put that on, you know, just for fun. But, you know, it's not typically what's on there. But, you know, like I said, maybe for fun, we might put that on there. All right, let's give this a shot. Cheers, mate. Your Vegemite sandwich. We've done the Vegemite sandwich. We'll have a link down, down below where you can check out the Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite sandwich is Vegemite, maybe a little bit of butter, and some cheese. This is really good. This is really good. We do have that saltiness from the Vegemite. It's kind of savory as well. It really complements the meat in there. I think going with the steak instead of the ground beef was a good move.
And again, it goes really well with the cheese too. That's actually pretty good. You know, you can't afford a plane ticket to go out to Australia and a time machine so you can go back to October 4th and try this. It's really easy to put together here. So again, just get the cheesy gordita crunch, add some Vegemite to it, you're good to go. That's really good. The thing about Vegemite, just like Marmite, is if you're gonna put it on like toast, and maybe you're gonna slather it on, and you're not gonna put any butter on that, you're gonna get the strong taste of, veg of Vegemite or Marmite. It's gonna be overpowering. Mixed with other stuff though, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a thumbs up. It's really, really good. And again, you know, it was for International Taco Day and maybe for Vegemite's 100th anniversary, which is the 25th, we haven't got there yet. But, you know, there's no reason why you can't make this at home. Well, let Taco Bell make the cheesy gordita crunch. You just add the Vegemite. So, if you're wondering where to get the Vegemite, well, a lot of large grocery stores, grocery store chains in the US has it. If there's a local cost plus one market near you, they definitely have it. That's good. That's going to get a thumbs up. So, you want to try the Mighty G Taco, but you didn't get a chance to get it in Australia? No worries. Just head to your local Taco Bell. But when you do, remember that it's crazy out there. So, please be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Good day, mate. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.